Hello everyone. Today, we will study about MAPE Arts 6. This is quarter 1, Arts and the Computer. Lesson 1. Let's create graphic arts with the computer. In today's generation, seldom can we see a child who doesn't know how to use gadget and other technologies. They are so much interested to use and even explore applications using these technologies. This lesson would be interesting to them. The computer is fascinating with the endless possibilities it offers. With it, you can browse the internet, play your favorite video games, and even draw or create many kinds of artworks. Today, along with traditional arts, digital arts has become very popular since the same artistic thinking and skills are applied by the artist. The only difference lies in the medium with which the artist utilizes creating the artwork that is no longer pencil and paper but with the computer. In this lesson, you will revisit the different elements and principles of art and how they apply in digital art. You will also be introduced to the world of digital arts and how and for what it is used today. In addition, you will be introduced to some of the common software used in digital art. An important part of this lesson is a presentation and discussion of the features and basic tools of a drawing software. Learning task number one. Look at the pictures. One of the pictures was created by computer and the other was drawn by hand. Can you tell which is which? Write down your thoughts about the following questions. Question number one. How are the drawings similar and how are they different? Question number two. How were the elements and principles applied in each drawing? You have learned in your past art classes how the different elements of arts like lines, shapes, colors, and textures are used and combined to create images, paintings, and sculptures. You have learned how to appreciate harmony and balance in an artwork or how to use repeated lines to create rhythm and patterns in a drawing or painting. You have also seen how colors and textures are used to create contrast and emphasis in a painting or in print work. You have seen how the elements and principles apply to traditional art or created by hand using a medium like paint, charcoal, pencil, or clay. Starting with this lesson and onwards, you will see how the same elements and principles as well as the different art processes still apply even with the use of technology. Computer-generated visual media. In this visual media, computers are used today for social media, video, photo, and marketing. Desktop publishing. It includes magazines, books, newspapers, brochures, flyers, pamphlets, and other print media. 2D art. 
This is imitating traditional arts using computer graphic software. Drawings, portraits, even landscapes can be created using the computer and then printed on paper to produce two-dimensional art. 3D graphics, 3D art, still and animated. 3D graphics are achieved via the process of designing objects from geometric and polygonal shapes or more technically termed as NURBS, curves to create three-dimensional objects and scenes. These are used in various media such as film, television, print, animation, rapid, prototyping, games, simulations, and special visual effects. These are the pioneers of digital art in the 1950s to 1970s. We have Desmond Paul Henry, Michael Knoll, Nam Jun Pai, John Whitney, and Charles Suri. Top visual effects companies, Pixar and Weta Digital. Top video game companies, Square Enix and Bethesda Game Studios. These are the notable Filipino digital artists. We have Anthony Ocampo, Vincent Rafael Laseo, Antonio Gorondo, and Rodolfo Samonte. Definition of terms for drawing software. Have you ever tried using a computer software to draw something? Although most software are expensive, there are those that you can download for free. Once you use them, you will find out that most features that allow you to create lines and shapes and change these lines to thick lines and vice versa are common. You can even erase and do it over again. Study the following and familiarize yourself with some of the tools found in most drawing software. Basic drawing tools. Pencil tool. It is used to draw three lines onto the picture. Paint bucket tool. It is used to fill an area with a solid color or pattern. The rectangle tool. It is used to create a perfect square or rectangular shapes. By changing the line thickness in line tool, you could change the thickness of the square. Brush tool. It is used to paint on a picture or photograph with the selected color. Pen tool. It is used to create vector graphics using mathematical points and curves. Ellipse Circle Tool It is used to create perfect circles. Thickness can be changed using Line Tool. The Line Tool It is used to create perfectly straight lines. Selection and Erasing Tools Move Tool Allows various parts of the image to be selected and move around the canvas. Eraser Tool Provide different ways to erase various parts or all of your drawing. Hand Tool Allows to move an image around its window by dragging. The tool is useful for maneuvering around an image to focus in 
on specific details within the picture. Text insertion. Horizontal type tool has a basic function that adds text in different fonts and various sizes. Opacity. It gives degree to which something reduces the passage of light. Undo. Allows to cancel or reverse an action or effect. You will notice that you can create all the elements of art, such as lines, shapes, color, and texture using the tools available in most drawing software. By practicing, you can become better and create digital art as much like the way you do it in traditional art. Learning task number three. Answer the following questions in your notebook. Question number one. Compare and contrast traditional art from digital art. Question number two. Give at least two differences and two similarities between traditional art and digital art. Learning task number four. Read the following sentences carefully. Write the letter of the correct answer in your notebook. Number one. It is a general term for a wide variety of artistic works and methods that use digital technology. A. Digital art. B. Elements of arts. C. Traditional Arts or D. Principle of Arts Number 2. People can create artworks with the use of blank. A. Computer B. Television C. Radio or D. Media Number three, lines, shapes, colors, and textures are blank, common, both traditional hand paint art and modern digital art. A. Elements of arts. B. Principle of arts. C. Digital art. Or D. Traditional art. Number four, rhythm, harmony, contrast, and emphasis apply even with the use of technology. A. Elements of arts. B. Principle of arts. C. Digital art. Or letter D. Traditional art. Number five, notable Filipino digital artists include Blank. A. Anthony Ocampo. B. Charles Suri. C. John Whitney. Or letter D. Desmond Paul Henry. Here are the answers. Number one. It is a general term for a wide variety of artistic works and methods that use digital technology? The correct answer is A. Digital art. Number two, people can create artworks with the use of A. Computer. Number three, lines, shapes, colors, and textures are a. Elements of arts. Common both traditional handmade art and modern digital art. Number four. Rhythm, harmony, contrast, and emphasis apply even with the use of technology. The correct answer is B. Principle of 
hearts. Number five, notable Filipino digital artists include A. Anthony Ocampo. Great job! Thank you for watching.